So this woman trusted the wrong people and it's going to cost her a lot. Her home is ruined, destroyed, and she doesn't know what to do. Fortunately, I know how to help. So let's clean. <laughs> Guys, look at the floor. It's falling apart. What has happened here? Did they have a water party at home or something? There's a container from the fridge. And where are all the cabinet doors? That's weird. Everything is covered with grease and maggots and flies. Ooh, some kind of spilled gunk. And the fridge is completely frozen. <laughs> Whoa, but all these woman's belongings have been destroyed. But who does something like this? We have to find out. Somebody has slept on this couch. Maybe even two. So many written notes. Let's read what they say. Oh, it's a moving out list. These guys didn't read the list apparently. More writings on the wall. It's in Finnish, but English it means who makes you angry controls you. Okay, let's scrub that window seal. <laughs> I can't wait. A new fresh day, 7 a.m. and I'm so ready to start scrubbing. The best day of my week, because guys, you know me, I deep clean one home per week and it's my relaxing time. Ooh, look at that gunk. We need some oven cleaner and plastic wrap. Plastic wrap will keep the oven cleaner from drying out, making all the gunk melt underneath it. Let's check it in five hours. Before we dive into the woman's story, let me tell you a bit about myself. Hi, I'm Auri Katarina and I help people who are struggling all around the world. I deep clean disaster homes for free. And for me, the dirtier, the better. I just love and enjoy cleaning so, so, so much. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only one, because there are so many others out there behind the screens who love cleaning too. And for those of you who don't like it, that's perfectly okay. But isn't it wonderful to watch something being deep cleaned? And seeing that cleaning is fun. <laughs> you are all my cleaning friends. By the way, this drain was clogged, so I poured some drain opener and it worked. Woohoo! <laughs> First, let's see what this show can accomplish. I always start with the easiest options, such as this soap, and then move on to the other products if needed, if that is necessary. If the sink is extremely dirty, I use oven cleaner or chlorine, which are much stronger cleaning agents. However, if the sink appears relatively clean, dish soap suffice. I love Cine's detail brush because it reaches all the way into those tiny crevices, getting all the gunk out from there. Nice. <laughs> Let's finish it with Steel Daddy. There was some lime scale deposit, so Steel Daddy takes care of it. Lastly, I felt like the kitchen sink was quite clean, but lacked shine. That's why I used Power Paste to give it back its sparkle. Tidy! Ah, so satisfying. <laughs> Before I started cleaning people's homes for free, I was volunteering on a crisis line where I answered calls from people in distress. I just love giving people even a glimmer of hope in their darkest moments because I know that sometimes things can feel completely overwhelming for everybody. That's when having someone nearby to listen and try to solve problems together can make all the difference. No one is alone. Nowadays, I've combined my two favorite things, helping people and cleaning. So essentially, I'm living my dream. This apartment owner, let's call her Sally. Sally made a huge mistake. I mean, we all make mistakes and that's normal. But Sally trusted the wrong people. She bought this apartment six years ago because her daughter was accepted into university and needed a place to live. 
She moved here and eventually graduated, so the apartment was empty at this point. So Sally was considering renting it out. This was her only property besides her own home. When I met Sally, I immediately fell for her. She was a kind-hearted woman. So Sally decided to post a rental ad online and soon found a couple who wanted to rent the apartment. Wow, good! They also had a dog and a teenage child. Sally confessed to me that when she first met the couple, she had a feeling something might be off about them, but she wanted to give them a chance. Remember guys, this was her first time renting an apartment to someone outside of her family. So, three years ago, they finally moved in. At first, Sally didn't notice anything. Everything was going great. Rents were on time and Sally thought that these tenants were great. Then, the neighbors contacted Sally. This fridge door doesn't stay open, so Annie is using some tape to hold it open. Now let's see what we can discover in this rotten and frozen fridge. And we'll continue the story afterwards. Ooh, some rotten eggs. What is this? What is this? I want to open it. What? Oh, it's a sausage. Oh. Ooh. What? How about... Oh, mandarin, I guess? Whoa! A frozen mandarin! Some frozen cucumber! Love... Lo 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 lovely! <laughs> okay, this was fun! Oh my god, it looks funny! Oh, some potatoes! Yummy, yummy! More frozen cucumber! Ah, oh, what a lovely surprise! Ooh, another mandarin! Oh, oh, or is it an onion? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> what else, what else? <laughs> oh, these potatoes are stuck. Wow, this is impressive. A hammer. <laughs> and let's get to work. <laughs> I need to be cautious not to damage the fridge, because I believe it's still usable. I'm not an expert, but I have a feeling that if you leave the fridge door open for a long time, this might happen. Oh my god! So satisfying! Ah, oh, I love this feeling! It was satisfying! And look, the fridge looks relatively clean, right? That's good! Before we continue with the story, let's finish cleaning the rest of the fridge. The fridge door is also coated in a layer of yellow grime goo. We need to tackle. <laughs> also, it's been over 5 hours now, so our stove should be ready for scrubbing. So there's a lot of stickers and paper, so it's easy to remove them with scraper. Or easy and easy, but... They are coming off eventually. This cleanup is straightforward since I can discard everything. Sally mentioned she doesn't want to keep any of the items. Of course, because they are not hers. <laughs> but still, that's good. That's easy for me. I don't have to think about at all is this important or not or anything like that. Everything just goes to trash. Here's a cleaning tip for you. If you are dealing with a stubborn sticker, use a scraper along with a glue slash sticker remover, designed for stickers and glue deposits. I would also recommend what I consider the best product for this purpose on my Amazon page. You'll find the link in the description below. The product kind of melts the sticker, so it's easier to remove it. I've received numerous inquiries about removing stickers from walls, windows, or peeling labels of bottles. If you are facing these challenges, here's a useful tip for you. Woohoo! All the gunk came off, and now the fridge and freezer store are white and clean again! Oh! 
but the freezer is still dirty. And there's water at the bottom of the freezer because I turned it off this morning upon arriving. I wanted to clean it and I knew it, it would be easier if it's not frozen. By the way, guys, did you know I have a cleaning book? <laughs> yes, it's linked in the description below. Check it out. All right, guys, our stove is looking so good. Everything has melted. Love it. And this technique works for any stove. If you have an induction stove, you can simply scrape it because it's a flat surface. However, for gas stoves or other, this trick definitely is usable. Apply oven cleaner covered with plastic wrap and let it sit. You can even leave it overnight and then scrub it with a steel daddy. It's crucial to use a steel daddy specifically, not a regular scrub daddy or scour daddy. Remember, you steal daddy, folks. <laughs> if you still have something left, you can just scrape it off. And look, the stove is like new. This trick also works in America. You can easily remove the knobs of the stove and oven with a knife. This way you get to clean behind and beneath them. You wouldn't believe how much gunk accumulates behind them. <laughs> but I would advise against washing knobs with numbers in the dishwasher, as the dishwasher might erase those numbers and you definitely don't want to do that. Oh, by the way, placing a scraper inside a microfiber cloth works wonders for cleaning corners and crevices. Oh, I can see that the oven handle is really sticky, so I'm going to use power paste and steel daddy for that. So it takes off the stickiness. Goodbye, stickiness! But now, back to the story. Sally initially thought the dog's barking was a minor issue that would be resolved in no time. However, she was unaware that this was just the tip of the iceberg. So at this point, the family was living in Sally's apartment, covering their rent. Yet, the complaints began to escalate. Apparently, the barking didn't stop, and neighbors started calling Sally again, this time complaining about odors. Sally wondered what odors they were talking about. What could possibly smell in the apartment? That's weird. But more and more calls came in, leaving Sally confused. The complaints from neighbors didn't just stop at odors. Next calls were about the noise, and Sally was puzzled by her tenant's behavior. Or if they were even behaving at all. Was this even true? Sally had several discussions with both the tenants and the neighbors, believing they could come up with a solution. The tenants kept promising to improve their behavior, and Sally believed them. Sally is the kind of person who sees the good in people, and rightly so, as there are many kind-hearted individuals with good intentions. It's understandable. No one wants to believe that some would be difficult or mean-spirited on purpose. By the way, guys, this extractor hood is so crazy, so I have to use an oven cleaner for this one. If you have something extremely sticky or greasy, try oven cleaner. I promise it works. But yeah, the tenants kept promising to improve their behavior. It must have been a tough time for everyone. Imagine if your neighbors were noisy at nights, dogs parked and the apartment smelled and you saw that it was really dirty. Hmm. I mean, I don't judge anybody, I don't judge the situation people end up in, but if you don't want to improve or try to despite several encouragements, I think it's only fair that the neighbor shouldn't have to suffer because of it. But at this point, it's impossible to know because we don't have the whole truth. 
By the way guys, this is one of my favorite shelf cleanings. It is so greasy and sticky that I just want to scrub it with oven cleaner and scrub mommy. Look at that dirt, what comes off. Oh, wow. I'm so relieved that despite the considerable filth and grease, nothing has been permanently damaged. Thankfully, I can restore these surfaces with a good thorough cleaning. Unfortunately, everything is going to the trash. I wouldn't take these items to secondhand shops or anywhere else, as they are covered in grease and grime. I wouldn't want people to bring these into their homes without knowing their history. Sometimes people ask me if I take something to my own home from these homes. The answer is no, I don't. Never, ever. Because even if something appears relatively clean in the video, it isn't. The video doesn't fully capture the extent of the dirtiness. Dirt isn't always visible to naked eye. Sometimes you only realize something is dirty when you take a closer look or feel its stickiness upon touching it. So yeah, that's why I never take anything in my home. And that's stealing, <laughs> but you know what I mean. And even if I find money or anything, I would never take anything with me. Because these people trust me to go into their homes and those things are theirs. So of course, everything I find belongs to them. In the last cleaning, I found $700 in a purse that I was supposed to throw out. So <laughs> I'm so glad that I looked inside and of course, I took the money back to the owner. Of course I do that. One of the best feelings is asking before I start cleaning if anything is missing, lost or needed. And I always make an effort to find it. That's incredibly rewarding if I find it. Yes, the best feeling ever. The only thing I'm concerned about is the floor because Look at it. It's laminate, so it's made of wood. And there has been some water sitting on the floor, for sure. Therefore, the water has speed into the gaps of the laminate floor, causing the edge of the floor to lift. For this reason, if you have a laminate floor, you should never wash it with too much water. However, I don't believe that the tenants were all the time washing or cleaning their floors, but rather doing something else with it. Even all the light switches are dirty and smudged, but that doesn't surprise me at all, considering how frequently we touch them. They get dirty pretty quickly. While it's not dangerous, it's important to regularly clean all the high-touched areas in your home to prevent this. And as I mentioned earlier, I was curious about where all the cabinet doors had gone. Like for example here, there should be doors for sure. I asked Sally about this and she told me that they were completely ruined. So she had to remove them. She's currently renovating them and plans to reinstall them afterwards, which is great. One of my favorite products, Power Paste. And look its power. Wow, it's all white again. Ah, I'm so happy and so will be Sally when she sees this. Because last thing I want is for her to have to renovate the entire kitchen, as that would be quite expensive. Just because she owns this apartment doesn't necessarily mean she has extra money to spare. So at this point it seems she'll only need to renovate the floor. The kitchen is okay for the most part. But okay, we haven't seen the other rooms beneath the trashes yet, so we can only hope.
Guys, think about it. All these items were the family's belongings. They bought all these and left them behind. It's such a strange thing altogether. I'll tell you the rest of the story next week when we clean the bathroom. Surprises and all. <laughs> the stickiness just continues. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but I have to wash every surface here, as everything is so sticky. What they have been doing? Cooking extensively or something else? Hmm, I don't, I don't know. They've only lived here for three years, which isn't all that long, I suppose. I mean, even if I didn't clean my kitchen for three years, I'm not sure. But I think my cabinets wouldn't get this sticky and dirty. Don't, don't get me wrong, I can be a messy girl, but the level of stickiness is odd here. They must have loved cooking or something. Maybe they ate french fries and fried chicken every day and had a deep fryer or something. I'm always curious about where the dirt comes from, where it accumulates, why it gathers there, what it looks like, where it forms and how it reflects on a person. Mm, those are great questions. And I mean the dirt is always globally the same, but different people have different kind of dirt in their homes and in various places. For example, lime scale is the same all over the world. Of course, it depends on the type of water you have, but it's kind of similar. However, it accumulates in different places and looks a bit different all over the world. The same goes for every type of dirt. I'm always pondering various kinds of dirt in my mind. <laughs> That's true! <laughs> Often, I even dream about dirt homes, dirty homes, and cleaning them. Sometimes in these dreams someone cleans them before I can, which feels like a nightmare to me. So yes, I frequently have dreams related to cleaning. Okay, time to clean this floor, although it's somewhat pointless <laughs> since the floor is ruined and needs replacing. Uh, washing it with water won't make a difference, but I'm going to clean it anyway just to make it look nicer. I wanna do it! It sets to be turned out and replaced. However, look at the cabinet behind it. That looks so white and clean. I love it. I believe this part of the floor is the only section that is okay, but still... It doesn't matter, it has to be replaced. And guys, are you ready to see the before and after pictures? The kitchen looks amazing now. What a transformation. I'm thrilled, look at it before. So dirty and smelly, trashy. Ah, uh, it doesn't even look white, it looks yellow, but now Wow, I'm impressed, even though I did it for myself. <laughs> but guys, I'll see you next week in the same apartment, and then we are going to scrub the whole bathroom. Woohoo! <laughs> I love you all. You are the best cleaning buddies I have. Bye! <laughs>